So, it's expected that people are wondering why I'm actually leaving. And it's expected that people are going to worry about me. And, I don't know. I figure I'll just explain myself to try and answer the question any questions that people have for me. So basically, some people, after hearing my explanation, might probably call me a uh, uh, pull your who we'll just suck it up and things like this and, you know, well, welcome to the real world and welcome to being an adult and things like this. But I like to clear things up and explain myself. And I'm only going to do it one time, so if you don't, if it doesn't, if it doesn't stick or you don't understand it, well, re-watch the video over and over again and maybe you'll understand it. Other than that, that's, I'm only making this video one time so why am I leaving ever since I was a little kid start at kindergarten I I've basically been entrepreneuring since I was young all right I was making I was hand threading beats tiny, tiny beads onto pieces of string and making bracelets out of them, handfuls and handfuls and hundreds of bracelets and selling them at school in kindergarten for 50 cents, a dollar a piece. How many I sold, I don't know. Who cares? Whatever. fact of the matter is, is that's what I was doing. Okay. I made my first paycheck when I was 10 years old, 11 maybe, when I sanded and stained my babysitter's jungle gym at her house. Wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go bike from the country, cross Highway 7, bicycle into town, go to her house, and stain her, th her place at. Okay? Took me like three or four days to do that biking, right? Doing that. Got my first paycheck. It was like 100, 150 something dollars. That's what I told her I would do it for. When I was a little kid. Okay. I've been helping people out since I was little. I remember when I was walking down the street in Lester Prairie, someone had vandalized the Coke machine stuck a bunch of soap inside the inside the slot where the change goes in and 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 the soda machine vendor was there trying to fix it he ended up spilling all of the quarters out onto the sidewalk i helped that guy pick those quarters up without putting a quarter in my pocket okay back then everything went into a tray it didn't go into these slots that they go into now. It went into a tray. Okay? And it spilled everywhere. And I helped him. Since I was little, I've been helping people out. I've always been working. I've always had some sort of something happening. Never, didn't always have money coming in because I was a little kid. You don't need all that. But as I got older, all those things that I was, I was doing started turning into money coming into my pocket. And I was then doing doing things for money all the time. Nowadays, everything I do is pro productive in some way, shape, or form. Probably 95% of what I do. Nine, 80. 80% 80 of what I do is productive in, in that it puts money into my pocket. The rest of it is me time. Okay? 
the past four years, I've been sober. Almost four years. Come July 26th of this year, I'll, it'll be four years that I've been sober. Okay? I've wasted. Not wasted 100%. But I've wasted those four years. Busting my ass at school, having a, a 4.0 GPA at school, and working multiple jobs just like everybody else does. I know. I understand that that's what people do. Okay? But I was doing that. And I didn't like it. Just like how everybody doesn't like it. Nobody fucking likes working three jobs and going to school. Okay. And then at the end of the day, looking at their fucking paychecks and seeing that half of it was taken out for shit that, like a fucking football stadium, I don't even fucking watch football. I've been smoking cigarettes for almost 21 years. I'm 27. You can do the fucking math. When I started smoking cigarettes, I was buying cigarettes at the fucking grocery store when I was up to your fucking waist. Okay? Two dollars a pack I was buying cigarettes for. Granted, I wasn't going inside and buying cigarettes, obviously. But I buy cigarettes off of the people at the store. That's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is the cigarettes I've been smoking, the part of me that's been a part of my life all my life has only been going up. Is only The pack of cigarettes I've been smoking my entire life is now $8.46 a pack. And the only reason why is because there's a fucking stadium going up I have no interest in. The past four years, I've been wasting my time. My entire life, I've been doing things to satisfy everybody else's fucking selfish needs except for my own. Okay? The only reason why I haven't been gone years ago is because I was drunk and on drugs. I've left before, but I was drunk and on drugs. And it didn't work out because I didn't have anything productive to do while I was gone. I didn't leave to do something productive. I left simply to find the best LSD. That's why I left before. Now I'm leaving to go do something productive. Something that I've been waiting for. Something that I've dreamed of ever since I've played the Oregon fucking trail on the little Apple computer with the green screen, the black and green screen in the computer lab at Lester Prairie Elementary School. Before YouTube was created, before iPhones, before all the stupid shit, back when I used to play in the fucking mud and Okay, I'm leaving now because I don't want to play the game anymore. At least right now, when I want, when I play the game, I want to be able to enjoy the the game. Right now, I don't enjoy the game. I just quit. I just quit three jobs in a row. Boom, 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 back to back. Quit them all. Because I'm working, getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, every morning, day after day, for years, to do it. My dad's been working the graveyard shift for 30-something years. Great. More power to him. That's not me. I can't do something all the time and hate it. I can't I can't feel right about putting putting pesos in somebody else's fucking pockets but my own. Okay? 
when I when they say, oh, well, that's the way the world works. Well, if the world works in such a way that I have to do that and be miserable all the way till the day I can retire at what? I just said 56 years old to my mom, and she said it's four years later. 60 years old? Until I can retire at 60 years old and be fucking broke because they've been stealing the social security that I've been paying into the 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 some whatever the years that I've been paying taxes. Okay? Everything's a fucking game. I don't care what anybody says. It's a game. Life's a game. Life's a game. We're all just sitting down here waiting to fucking die anyways. When you think about it, the only reason why any of us do anything is to stay active and not bored while we're waiting to meet the man upstairs. Well, I'm fucking bored and I'm miserable doing it. I'm bored of... of Fuck it. At the end of the day, right now, I'm done working real jobs. I will not wake up every day to go to a fucking job. No, I'm done. I've done it. I've not done it as long as a lot of people. But I guess maybe I'm just one of those people that's not going to fucking put up with bullshit. I'm not going to get walked all over when I'm sitting at a fucking job and I spill something for the first time ever since I've been working there and I get cussed out like I'm some sort of a fucking idiot or something. No, you're damn right. I'm going to come upstairs and get in your fucking face and say you can find yourself a new fucking employee because I don't need this shit. To explain myself a little bit further, I will not, and I refuse to end up being one of those people standing on the fucking corner with a sign saying, Oh, I, I need some money. No, those motherfuckers can go get a job. Or, or go do something fucking productive with their, with their lives, because I've never left and right calling me for, to, to come and work. Never had problems getting a job. I could post this video on YouTube. I guarantee you. I could post this video on YouTube, wait a year, let everybody fucking see it, and then go get a job after making one phone call. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm fucking networked that way. It's just the way it is with me. I'm not trying to sit here and say that I'm better than anybody because I'm fucking not. Homeless people are are fucking amazing people. And and the fact that they're called homeless people is, is degrading in and of itself. They're not homeless. They just don't have a key. All I'm saying is I'm not going to be one of those people again. If it comes down to... I mean, I, I literally just burned everything I own. I burned it, gave it away, or sold it. Everything. Everything. Like, everything I have... My back seat is, is messy right now. But everything I own right now... This is the car that I'm sitting in and the things that are in my trunk. That's all I've got now. That's all I care about. I literally, in, in the past two weeks, I have gotten rid of my entire life. I've thrown it all in the trash because that's where that part of my life is, is belongs. 
have any interest in, in it anymore. I'm going to be safe where I'm going. I'm going to be traveling and I'm going to be having fun. And I'm going to be busting my ass while I'm doing it. I'm not going to be sitting there having a good old time. Sitting on my fucking ass playing a goddamn video game or checking my instant messaging or my Twitter on my fucking iPhone. No, I'm going to be busting my ass. There's no doubt about that, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be enjoying myself while I'm busting my ass. I'm going to be busting my ass for myself, not to, not to feed some other cheapskate's fucking pocket. My life is my own. My life is my own. And 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 I don't care who says what. Nobody can tell me how to go about being a success. Obviously what I've been doing isn't working. Because my goal is not just to get by. Okay? My goal is to fucking be good and, and happy with what I'm doing. And if I'm just getting by but I'm still happy, well, that's fine. But my goal is not to be unhappy while just getting by. You feel me? Does that make sense? We get a lot of people talking a bunch of shit because of this video. We'll be posting it on YouTube, post it on Facebook, and we'll post it all over the place. I can't go 100% off the grid because I I, I do want to keep in contact with my family and, and the few people in my in my group of friends that I've chosen to keep around. I still want to keep in contact, but. And that's why I'm going to be making videos. Um, as soon as I leave, you guys are going to actually enjoy my videos. They're going to be fun. I'm going to have fun making them. You know, you'll be able to see see what I'm seeing and things like that. And I'm excited for that. I'm fucking excited to leave. Like, I burned everything with not a care in the world. I don't know, I'll just cut this video short because it's already 18 minutes long. But I want to, I want to, I just wanted to uh, try and explain myself a little bit for the people who, who might have been wondering. Because I know that my mom's sitting upstairs right now in the house all bent out of shape. Is what it is. I came into this world pissed off. I'm not gonna leave it fucking pissed off. This is Minnesota mad. I got one more day. I'm gonna spend Mother's Day with my mom tomorrow. Come three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the road. it does work out. I don't know. I can't say that I'm that scared. Because I am. It's Minnesota Mad. If you'd like to follow me, you can look me up on Facebook. Um, or uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Possibly sexually assault the like button on this video. Don't do that. Just fucking smash it. Um, I don't know. If you're into that type of thing, keyboards and whatnot, just do your thing. But 
comment on my video. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, I guess that's that. See you.